We're going to start today by writing our name at the top of our paper, off to the side. I'm going to trace this round circle close to the top of my paper with my pencil. I'm going to jump to the bottom of my paper, and I'm going to draw that big oval for the bottom of the hat. I'm going to start with a curved line at the bottom, but I'm going to use my hand to kind of tell me how high up to make that line. So I know my line needs to be about right there because that's how high my hand reaches. I'm going to do a curved line at the top and kind of a curved line at the bottom to get an oval that stretches that whole width of the paper. From here, I'm going to add two curved lines. My curved line is going to start at the side of my circle and curve down to the bottom oval. And I'm going to match that at the same on this other side. So I'm going to follow where I made that starting point of the curve. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side of the circle. And I'm going to curve that line down. I am done with my pencil. Now I'm going to start with the white crayon. And this is the part that's probably tricky and where we want to spend most of our time. With our white crayon, we're going to draw different kinds of lines. And I know that you can't really see what I'm doing because I'm drawing with a white crayon on white paper. I'm going to zoom in so you can maybe see a little bit closer what's happening. I can see those lines better that way. I'm going to follow my line pattern all the way down that shape. I'm pushing hard, really hard. I'm going to show you my next line pattern up at the top of my hat. I'm thinking maybe my lines could be a zigzag. Do you see my hand going up and down, up and down? I am pushing so, so hard. I can feel the oil crayon on my paper. That's really important for the magic part. I'm going to add another line, but this time I am not going to make it very dark. I'm barely touching my paper. It's like I'm tickling it. I want to show you what happens if we don't push hard enough. I'm going to switch and I'm going to do a bumpy line. You might hear this line I'm going to make. A dotted line. You can repeat. I could do another zigzag line pushing really really hard. Oh my goodness my hands hurting but I can feel it and see. I'm gonna do some straight lines and I'm gonna do uh, another bumpy line. This one's down and maybe a wavy line. I'm stopping. I'm not gonna make lines on that circle part. That's where we're gonna put that soft fluffy texture next time. All right, I've pushed hard. I can see and feel those white lines, and now I'm ready to paint. We're using the cake tempera paints. So if you remember, we need to get our paintbrush in the water. We're going to take our paintbrush and rub it on a color and bring that color to our paper. I'm starting to see my magic, but I think I need a darker color, so I'm going to rub more green. Oh, that color is way nicer. I'm rubbing getting a lot of color. My job today is to paint the whole hat. I'm even going to paint that circle part. Oftentimes kids ask, can we use more than one color? Yes, you can. However, I would make it really nice. Like maybe I'm going to draw a paint line and the top part of my hat is going to be one color and maybe the next section is going to be another color. All right, I want to show you that one spot where I didn't push very hard. It was right here. I am going to switch colors. I'm going to make this part red. If I paint over that line, you can't really see it because I didn't push hard. If I push hard, that's when I see the magic lines. So make sure when you're creating your art today that you push hard with that crayon and that's where we're going to use most of our time today is making those awesome lines. When your whole hat is painted, even that bottom oval, it's going to go into the drying rack.